there are four people, some who will be telling the truth and the others who will be lying. The first person said an odd number are always telling the truth, the second an even number, the third a prime number and the fourth a square number. If we start by labeling each person as A, B, C and D, and we'll assume that they're all telling the truth. So if A were telling the truth, then that would be either one or three people. If B were telling the truth, that would be either zero, two or four people. If C were telling the truth, then that would be either two or three people. And if D were telling the truth, that would be either zero, one or four. Now we can recognize that no odd number can be an even number. So whatever A is saying, B must be the opposite. So if A is true, B must be false. And likewise, if A is false, B must be true. So at least one person is always telling the truth. The same occurs with C and D. No prime number is a square number. So whatever C is saying, D is saying the opposite. If C were telling a lie, D would be telling the truth. So what we end up with is a truth table that looks like this. Now, either way, we always have at least two people telling the truth. Only one of these four possibilities is correct. We can go through them now to see which one. If we start with D, a square number always telling the truth. And that has to be a lie because we know that there are always two people. So we know wherever D is a truth, that must be incorrect. That must be impossible. And likewise, the first person saying an odd number always telling the truth. Well, we know that that must be false as well. So this case over here, where A is telling the truth, must be wrong. And so we're left with the final case, false, true, true, false. The first person saying an odd number, that works. The second person saying an even number, that works. The third person saying a prime number, that works. And the last person saying a square number, that also works as false, so the whole is correct.